Right, welcome back um, to the channel. My name's Simon, um, and first and foremost, apologies for not being around for a, a little while. Um, I've had some stuff going on, um, so I kind of thought I'd actually like give you a bit of an update what's going on in my life um, with the business. Um, so again, like, apologies for like, I suppose, like if you feel it's uh, a bit of a clickbaity video. Um, so the title um, is probably a little bit kind of like clickbaity, but the way that I'm feeling um, is probably justified as well. Um, so what's been going on with me? Um, why have I not been putting out content the past couple of weeks? Um, purely and simply, um, I've kind of come to the realisation that the business is probably not doing as good as I need it to be. So um, I've had to kind of like concentrate on eBay to fundamentally try and save it if I possibly can. Um, so to put it into context, um, the business is still doing OK. So it's still kind of like... I'm still selling, um, I'm still kind of making like good money, um, but the fact of the matter is, um, it's not bringing enough money in, um, and that's where the big issue is. So I've always like kind of followed my numbers, um, making sure that I kind of know. Um, so deep down, I kind of like, I've known there's a bit of an issue for a while. Um, it's now kind of like got to the point where it's, pretty much a crunch point so I'm now kind of like fighting for survival um sounds a bit over dramatic but um the other option is that I'm gonna have to like potentially go back and uh, get a job in the real world so yeah it's um it, it's quite precarious at the moment um I'll try and like kind of go into a little bit more detail of why it's so precarious um, hopefully this will kind of like help other people out there who are in similar kind of positions. Um, it may well be just like kind of another growing pain, but um, this is definitely something that needs to be addressed. And I'm trying my best to actually kind of um, get this sorted. So um, let's have a quick look at um, some of the numbers. OK, so what are the main issues that's going on with the business? Um, the fact of the matter is that the eBay machine is not bringing enough and not generating enough money. Um, even though it's doing, in my opinion, OK. Um, I suppose kind of like one of the big things is actually my own personal outgoings. Um, so I can like run my household um, and with the cost of living crisis, um, I'm kind of like really struggling. So everything's gone up in, in um, price. So all my bills have gone up, um, kind of like running costs of everything has gone up as well. Um, so everything's gone up, um, which would have been kind of like bad enough anyway, but I was coping. Now, what has really made a big difference is being told when potentially I wasn't quite ready for it to go VAT registered. So what that means is going VAT, VAT registered, if your turnover is over £85,000 in the UK, um, the government wants a slice of your turnover. So that's not profit, that's actually like kind of the overall, so that's the big number. So they're going to want a portion of it. <clears throat> now, for most people it's 20% VAT rate. Um, because the way that I purchase items, um, I would say a good 90 to 95% of my business is not vatable. So I don't buy my items with VAT. VAT would mean that if you went into uh, another business, so if I purchased from another business and it was VAT qualifying, then I could personally claim back a port at that VAT from the government as well. So they would, the government would take it, but I could claim it back. But because I don't buy anything with VAT, the government still wants its portion, but I can't claim anything back. So that's 20%. Now, the government has got a scheme called the Flat Rate of Interest Scheme, um, which I'm actually on. And that means for the first 12 months, you don't pay 20%, you pay 6.5% 
um, of your turnover. Now, 6.5% is a darn sight better than 20%, but I can't actually claim anything back. So I can't actually claim my postage. Um, I can't claim for um, packaging materials. Um, it's just a flat 6.5%. And that's for the first year. First 12 months, it's 6.5%. After that, it goes up to 7.5% flat rate. Um, there are other kind of criteria you have to keep under and I may be wrong on this one, around about the 240, 250,000 pound mark. That's your turnover. So um, I'm now in a position that I have to pay um, the HMRC 6.5% um, of my overall turnover. Um, I also have to pay a accountant to look after that side of it because it's far too complicated for me. Um, you have to kind of like send it all off and sort of thing. So for me, I kind of like didn't want to, think, to, to do that. Um, so what I've done is actually like I've got them to do that. Now, previously before I was that registered, so like kind of like I was around about the 80, 82,000 pound mark, I was just about kind of paying the bills. Um, now I'm in a position that I have to kind of pay all this extra VAT and extra accountancy fees. Um, and I've worked it out to around about kind of like close to near £800 per month extra. So it's definitely like kind of like I'm feeling the, uh, the pinch at the moment. Um, so hence, while I've kind of gone dark, because I'm trying to kind of work on my business a bit more, um, Right, I'm just gonna quickly show you um, my my number. So this is my kind of rolling 12 months um, that I've done. Um, and I'm kind of like, fundamentally, I'm really proud that I've managed to kind of like grow my business, um, as you can see just on here. So my total sales from the end of January to the end of January, 2024. So a 12, rolling 12 months, I've had 96,000 pounds worth of sales. I'm just under that 100,000 pound mark. So 5,324 items in that kind of period of time. Um, now, the issue with that is, um, so now I've gone VAT registered, so I can actually put on here, so, so 96,305 pounds divided by 100, multiply that by 6.5% flat rate. So that means, without having to do anything else, the VAT man wants to take £6,259 off me. Um, so that's quite a significant amount of money um, to come straight off your bottom line, and I can't claim anything back. So it's definitely like kind of like that, um, and I suppose once you get close to that £85,000 mark, there is no kind of like that, you, you don't have the choice of actually doing it uh, sorry you don't have the choice of actually not going on it um, unless you decide to take a holiday and like you reduce it and actually try and keep under that eighty-five thousand pound. now that is definitely an option and i'm sure people out there would kind of like think that's definitely the better option um unfortunately i'm not in that position because even at the eighty-five thousand pound mark keeping under that um my outgoings won't generate enough money for me. So I need to kind of um, really like push forward on it as well. Um, just going on to this one, this is actually the um, VAT flat rate scheme. Um, there are other schemes um, that you can think. So I'm not an accountant by any stretch of the imagination. So please do um, kind of consult people who do know what they're talking about. This is purely and simply for me just trying to give you an update of actually in my world how it's going. Um, so this is the one I've, I'm on, which is the flat rate of interest scheme. It actually shows you all the different categories um, and the costing and the rates on it. So for me, which is retailing not listed elsewhere, so 7.5%. Um, now that is after the first year. You get a kind of like a discount for the first uh, 12 months. So it brings it down by another percent um, uh, for the first year. But after that, it goes up to like 7.5%. So as you can see, um, it's quite tough at the moment. Um, but the options are, do I go back to a real job? 
So going back into the real world, um, I suppose is definitely an option. Um, however, it would break my heart. It really would. It'd actually kind of like destroy me to have to go back to like kind of like the real world again. Um, I've kind of tried to build this like kind of company up and um, I'm incredibly proud to um, what I've achieved so far. So how do I overcome? Um, I've probably been lying to myself about kind of the quality of items I've actually been picking up. Um, thinking, okay, well, like it's still going to make profit. Um, it's not quite hitting my metrics of fifteen pounds. Um, so I need to be a lot more kind of disciplined. Um, I need to make sure that the things that are going into my kind of store are things that are desirable that people want to purchase. So I do think I've made kind of like some pretty good changes um, in the past few weeks. Um, I've still got a long way to go, um, but um, this actually kind of um, report shows you what I've actually sold. So um, from the 1st of January until today, um, my total sales, £13,000, sold 600 items. So I'm down on total amount, but the key thing is actually like, increasing the average sale price. Um, if I increase this, um, still buy correctly, make sure I actually don't overbuy and overpay, um, keep all my other processes in place, hopefully I'll be able to turn this around. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm kind of like aiming to do. All right, so that's fundamentally it for me. Um, I wanted to kind of just put a quick video out um, explaining kind of like what's going on with me. Um, apart from kind of the business, like everything else is all going like good. Life is all hunky-dory. Um, so, but um, kind of, I, I thought you'd kind of like um, at least want to know what's going on in my world. Um, you might not, you might not be that bothered. So like, I appreciate like kind of you sticking by. Um, I'm going to try and get back to a little bit of normality at some point. Um, I'll try and put out some um, some more videos. Um, please do let me know in the comments like if you've got any questions um, and um, how are you getting on? Uh, are you getting close to the VAT threshold? Is it going to affect your business? Um, let me know what you would do. Um, and at some point, I may actually kind of like um, organise an, um, a live um, so we can like potentially like get a few people um, on and actually have a chat and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so that's basically it for me. Um, so I appreciate all stopping by. Um, I hope this hasn't been too doom and gloom. I'm still incredibly um, positive and that I can turn this around um, and grow the business even more than it is all at the moment. Um, again, thank you very much for all the support. Uh, thanks for the advice out there. Um, Luke, Jamie and James, again, you guys have been uh, absolutely instrumental in uh, kind of helping me work all this out in my head. Um, I'm still going to smash through. Um, I'm definitely not going to like, be slowing the business up. I'm certainly not going to kind of like try and keep under the VAT threshold. I'm going to like do my absolutely like best to smash through it and to make it um, a, a viable business. Um, again, really appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next one.